All right. I got two out in one day. See? So that should show you that it's not that hard if I can do it, right? Two smart car motors in one day. Dude. Yeah. So, it's not hard to do, really. You see? You got to make sure you take the linkage off right here. You have to loosen this bolt. You have to loosen these two in order to get the linkage to slide out from underneath here. This this bolt and this bolt, both of these hold the linkage on there. So once you loosen this one, loosen this one, and these two, you don't have to take them completely out. Just loosen them so that they can slide through that little gap. You got the AC lines here. See, you leave everything connected. EVAP here. Just take that one hose off there. This is a connector on this side. Hoses, brake hoses, ABS lines. And this is the this is the linkage for the transmission. You have to make sure you unbolt that. Here's the lines. I always put rubber stoppers on mine. This is a rubber stopper, and that's a rubber stopper. This is the black cable. You have to make sure it stays on the car comes from the ignition goes to the starter this part goes to the starter this part goes to the alternator so and there you are there's a brake there's the gas line just one gas line and the evap holes this one you got the linkage you gotta make sure you don't damage that. And you got an EVAP. You got a power wire. Looks like it's a ground, but I don't think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the power because it goes to the alternator and the starter. So, and there you are. Empty compartment, engine compartment of a smart car. It's a lot easier to drop these mouths down than trying to do any kind of service to them. And here's the transmission. I mean, here's the starter. See, take the starter out your way so you can get to all the hoses that are, that are in between here. Really hard to get to if you don't move that starter. So hopefully I helped you out. And like my video if it helped you out. I would appreciate it. Thank you. DC over and out.